Hello friends, welcome to CSS video tutorial series. In the previous video tutorials, to understand DOM tree structure and understand various tree terminologies, we have written this sample code. In the body section, we have written a div element. Within the div, we have written a header element, another div element, a footer element. Within the header, we have written h2 element, p and a element. Within the inner div, we have written p element, a element. Within the footer, we have written h2, p and a element. For this code, we have a output this. So this is the output of the current code that we have written here. And also for this section of a code, we have drawn a DOM tree. While learning the DOM tree, we understood a terminology called as siblings. We understood that two or more nodes having the same parent are called as siblings. Here h2, p and a are having the same parent that is the header element. Hence we can consider h2, p and a as siblings. p and a are having the same parent that is the div element. Hence we can say p and a are siblings. h2, p and a are having the same parent that is the footer. Hence we can consider h2, p and a as siblings. Also header, div, footer are having the same parent. Hence we can say that header, div and footer are siblings or brothers. Also we understood adjacent siblings. Adjacent siblings can be identified based on immediately preceded by or immediately followed by relationship. That is here we can say h2 and p are adjacent siblings because p is immediately preceded by h2, h2 is immediately followed by p. Also p and a can be considered as adjacent siblings because a is immediately preceded by p and p is immediately followed by a. We cannot consider h2 and a as adjacent siblings because a is not immediately preceded by h2, right? And also h2 is not immediately followed by a. Hence we can say that h2 and a are not adjacent siblings. In this video tutorial, I am going to discuss about general sibling selectors. In the previous video tutorial, we discussed adjacent sibling selector, which mainly targets adjacent siblings. Whereas here we are talking about general sibling selector. General sibling selector is quite similar to adjacent sibling selector. We see the difference little bit later. Let's understand general sibling selector. It selects any HTML element targeted by the selector written after the tilde character. It selects any HTML element targeted by the selector written after the tilde character, which is or are sibling of need not be immediately preceded by but should be preceded by any HTML element targeted by the selector written before the tilde character. So general sibling selector targets sibling of and should be preceded by HTML element. We talk about this more detail now. Syntax of CSS rule set we already know. We write a selector in flower bracket we write declaration list. To implement general sibling selector in place of a selector, we write selectors one beside another separated by tilde character. You can see here selector 1, tilde character, selector 2, tilde character, selector 3 and so on. That is the syntax of general sibling selector. This sample code, what actually it does? It selects any HTML element targeted by the selector 2, which is sibling of and should be preceded by any HTML element targeted by the selector 1, need not be immediately preceded by, but should be preceded by. That is important to remember. Here I have example for a general sibling selector as well as example for adjacent sibling selector. And also we know that general sibling selector is indicated by tilde character, adjacent sibling selector is indicated by the plus character. Here I have written h2 tilde p. What this code does? It selects any p element which is sibling of h2 element and preceded by h2 element but need not be immediately preceded by h2 element. What adjacent sibling selector says or what this code does? It selects any p element which is sibling of h2 element and immediately preceded by h2 element. Adjacent sibling selector concentrates on immediately preceded by the element. Whereas general sibling selector says if an element is preceded by that is enough, need not be immediately preceded by. Let's see the code 
and understand. Let's see the demonstration. I go to the notepad. Here in the head section, I write style type equal to text or CSS. Then here I say closing style tag. Here I say h2 tilde character a in flower brackets. I write border 2px solid red semicolon. File save. Now what we are telling to the browser? We are telling to the browser that check whether h2 and a are siblings. You can see here h2 and a are having the same parent. Hence they are sibling. Here h2 and a are having the same parent. Hence they are siblings. And also I am telling that whether a is preceded by h2. a is need not be immediately preceded by h2. You just need to check whether a is preceded by h2. You can see here a is preceded by h2. a is preceded by h2. a is not immediately preceded by h2. a is not immediately preceded by h2. Only a is preceded by h2. Both the conditions are met here. That is a and h2 are siblings. A is preceded by H2, hence A should be border 2px solid red. You can see, the, if I go to the browser and say refresh, you can see that a hypertext in the header, a hypertext in the footer are having now the red border. That is how the general siblings letter works. If I write here plus file save, now what I am telling to the browser? I am talking about adjacent siblings letter now. That is, I am telling to the browser check whether A and H2 are siblings. Here A and H2 are siblings. Here also A and H2 are siblings. Another condition I am telling to the browser that A is immediately preceded by H2. If A is immediately preceded by H2, then apply the border 2px. But here A is not immediately preceded by H2. Here A is not immediately preceded by H2. Hence, no anchor element is going to have a border because we don't met the condition of adjacent siblings letter. File save go to browser and refresh you can see that no hypertext is having the red border if i change it to the tilde character then the condition with respect to the general siblings letter met a and h2 are siblings here in header and footer a is preceded by h2 a is preceded by h2 file save go to browser refresh hence the hypertext in header and footer are having the red border let me show one more example here i say H E A D E R header and then I say here footer. Now I am talking about general sibling selector. You can see we have a tilde character. What we are telling here? Check whether the footer and header are siblings. Yes, you can see here the header and footer are having the same parent that is a div. Hence they are siblings. Another condition is whether the footer is preceded by the header element. You can see the footer is preceded by the header element. They are in the same level. Maybe the footer is not immediately preceded by header, but footer is preceded by the header. Hence, the footer should have border 2px solid red. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see the footer has the border red. If I change it to the plus sign, then what we are telling to the browser? File, save. We are telling to the browser, check whether the footer and header are siblings. Yes, here the footer and header are siblings because they have the same parent. But check whether the footer is immediately preceded by the header. Here the footer is immediately preceded by the div, not the header. Hence the footer is not going to have the border 2px solid red. File, save, go to browser and refresh. That is the difference between adjacent sibling selector and general sibling selector friends. General sibling selector says that the next element should be the sibling of previous element. Next element should be preceded by the previous element, need not be immediately preceded. Whereas adjacent sibling selector says the next element should be sibling of the previous element and the next element should be immediately preceded by the previous element. That is the difference between general sibling selector and adjacent sibling selector. I hope you guys have clearly understood. I suggest you people to try using adjacent sibling selector, general sibling selector in your websites. For this tutorial, this much is enough friends. For more benefits and be updated, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to like, comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.